Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life and here is my finished project. This is a design team, a guest design team project for Lorna Taylor. She's tailor-made journals um, here on YouTube. She's also on Facebook and she also has an Etsy shop in which she sells these gorgeous, gorgeous papers. So please check out all the links that I put below here, uh, especially the one to her Etsy shop if you are interested in getting these beautiful papers that I'll show throughout this journal. It is a massive kit, uh, all in the soft pinks. You'll see it when I show you and it's called La Vie en Rose. But check out the link below this and you'll find it. Now I put some, um, actually the base is made from some uh, cardstock from a box that I had ordered some books and it's basically the the hard envelope that the books came in so I used part of that it already had a spine which was great and then I just cut it to size then I put on the pink uh, flower paper if you've seen my previous video showing you the bits and pieces then and the whole kit that I was going to use. I'll put a link to that video below this video as well. So that was from a bouquet of flower, flowers that I had received a long time ago and it was this beautiful pink that the flowers were wrapped in. So I saved that and I thought it went perfectly with all the beautiful pink flowers in this kit. Now I put some beautiful uh, lace around this I think it's vintage vintage I don't dare say maybe not but it's beautiful anyway and I got this kind of golden seam binding from Debbie Vignola so thanks Debbie it was the perfect size as well to put around this journal so journals tend to grow if you add things to it so that's why I put the, the ribbon around it so it has a loose fit now this is a gorgeous gorgeous doily that i had in my stash and it just fit on the corner perfectly so uh, it has these beautiful hearts in there which i really really liked here on the back you can already see i put the label made with love by lens crafty life and then you see the gorgeous gorgeous images this lady is only one lady in the whole kit and this is her and i thought she would go on the front perfectly i fussy cut some of the flowers some other pits here i have also some paper from the kit a little journal card that i put below the doily just to have a different effect some beautiful flower um pearls and i put some i added some pretty pink pearls flat back pearls as well to the cover this is a bit of a darker pink this is a softer pink this is a tiny one in three different sizes so large medium and tiny so there you go that's the front then let me show you the inside and i absolutely love this this is so totally up my alley these papers just to check if i've got it all in frame i think i do so I put on the inside of the cover, I put this bright paper, which is a stark white. So I tee dyed that. This is a corner pocket also from the kit. And I uh, sewed around these two uh, tags. And this one also comes in the kit, this little circle. And I punched that out with a tiny little ribbed edge punch that I have. And added a little bit of trim. Then I had this very pretty soft pink doily. In my stash, these are the beautiful papers from the kit. Also this one, I put this in here uh, as a belly band. This is like a file folder. You can add bits to it. I sewed around the envelope. So that's only on the top and on the bottom. I stuck it in. This is a very pretty little die cut or die and a die cut right die cut this one again I sewed all the way around it and i collaged on it a little bit these words are also from the kit so that goes in there and this is the way it closes more of the bright paper and some pretty edging another pocket these are all papers from the kits i collaged a bit on it again the the pink paper, flower paper that I put on the front, some music paper and some bits from the kit. This one as well. 
more beautiful rose papers it is such a beautiful kit if you love roses if you love pinks this is the kit for you definitely i use a beautiful stamp here again you see that i did some sewing i sew, sewed in a pocket again some more tabs this is a, a tag with a tiny little bill tail tab um on there this again I, is a little envelope and I put a little bit uh, of, I collage a bit on there and in the little envelope I put one of the other small cards. It's mainly with pinks but a little bit of yellow appears. But that's all good and pretty. This is um, a fussy cut flower posy. Again, the beautiful flat back pearl trim that I used here. I had this beautiful fabric in my stash, so I thought I may as well use it in here. It's really, really pretty, and I think it goes really well with this kit. Another whale tail punch uh, tab, which are in the kit like that, so you cut them out by hand. Well, basically what I did is I used a circle, and then I used the We Are Memories Keeper tab punch board, and you basically get the shape of a whale tail punch so if you don't have that punch this is the way to do it this is some dutch ledger paper here some dutch writing on there and then am i still in frame then i have here another pocket and there are so many labels and tags and pockets and words in here this is collaged on oh this is the middle of the first signature this journal has two signatures of each oh how many pages i think i put in 24 it probably has about 50 pages in all thereabouts then on the signatures i put these tiny little dangly bits a little shoe because later on you'll see there is a shoe in this kit so i thought i'd pick up on that and this beautiful soft pink heart which is actually a bead that i had in my stash this is another pocket or oh, actually i used a journal card to make a pocket sewed around this one sewed around this one and this is also from the kit a little stamp a little bit of collaging on there that i did myself here a bit of lace lace trim this is a fussy cut here i made two pockets now these are kind of like um uh, these strips they come in like that like bookmarks but you can you know use them for different things and i made like in the middle you a, it's stuck together so there's two separate pockets to hold these gorgeous little cards journaling cards in there then this is the next page again you see the sewing from the pocket on the previous page a little circle or the pretty fabric so there's also a white rose in there very pretty i think these roses are from uh, um i think it's called jean redouté jean something redouté i've got a book of his and they're just so gorgeous these roses i absolutely love them this is like a jar and this is another foul folder that i put in here and this is like uh, almost like a, an old check that people used to pay from 15th of april 1914 so that's the base these are all digital papers so you have to print them out no original papers but they used a really old one to make that beautiful cut out little rose fussy cut more gorgeous papers more of the um, bright paper some labels are in the kit as well here you can see that the bird goes over the pocket i did that on purpose because i wanted to decorate this tag and the bird was too big and i thought well i actually like that so i did a bit of collaging on here again and sewing and then these two are in there as well so the tails goes over these two behind and some more trim on the edge of the pages and this is the end again of the first journal um 
sorry, first signature. This is a paper bag. It was actually folded, but I thought it would become too bulky, so I cut it to size and I made a thinner pocket out of it. And I've got two things in here. Here is the little boots that I told you about. So that's why I got this tiny little dangle boot here. I thought it kind of looked like it. Hope I'm in focus there. So that's why I put the boot on there. And this is basically just a coffee dyed paper. Just a bit of extra paper to write on. And then I also have another journal card with a beautiful rose in there. So that goes in the pocket and here the front of the pocket this should stick out a bit the tab i collaged again with the beautiful papers and some uh, of the fabric again and that i had in my stash and the bright paper this is the other side of the pocket which i collaged it as well so the music paper is not in the kit that's my own and it's this is as brown as it is it's very very vintage so love that paper and this is just like you know you hardly need to do anything or you don't need to do anything to the papers it's just they're just so pretty as they are this is again another fussy cut flower another pocket and two tags from the kit here another label this is another belly band and this one does come from the kit now the way um i folded it is and i cut this out to make the wax seal stamp kind of fit together so i think it managed quite well there so this is the front of the paper which you just print out and then i scored it on all the lines folded it and i inked around all the edges of the creases of the folds just to give it a bit more of an old vintage look. Put it on some uh, music paper that I had in my stash. The a Little Angel is from the kit. And this beautiful rose as well. I added some beautiful lace that I had from my daughter. She gave to me, I think, the Christmas before last. Again, a bit of collaging on this little journal card. And this is actually in the kit as three separate uh, tags but I, they were so close together that I thought hmm, I can make a little booklet out of that so just inked the edges there and there you go a little journaling booklet life in pink that's from the kit as well and here is another pocket that I made into two separate pockets with some other cards there there are some white labels on there, so I put those in as well. I basically, I use literally everything. Everything from the kit you see here in this journal. There is no more. <laughs> and it is so much. Like these, I purposefully put on the middle of this second signature because it's just so pretty. And now my little key is stuck in the lace. Here you go. I put these little charms on there. A little rose. And this is a rose on two sides, so that would be nice as a dangle. And a little key with a heart. This is a different tab. This, again, is the other side of the old Dutch ledger paper. Some more fussy cuts, another pocket. And here a little card. And this I put a label on. And here, again, this is a fussy cut rose. And I collage on it another little envelope. There's two of those little envelopes in there another little card here again the beautiful uh, lace that i added and some more of the very pretty cards and here i used one as a another belly fan belly band and this is a beautiful um, envelope there's two envelopes in here this is one and the first one was here at the front and this one looks really old and again i put some paper in it from the kit this is a page that you get in this kit it's very pretty and you also get a background page so on the back i printed off the background page now on 
these bits from her on the papers from her i printed off the background page but the other journal pages the blank journal pages are my own they're just uh, the coffee dye pages so music paper this is from the kit again and this as well the bird so this is my own coffee dyed paper that's not in the kit but this is again and this is as well and here another pocket more labels and tabs i love this so gorgeous and this is the last bit the other side of that um, paper bag that i used and i turned it into a little envelope some more coffee dyed paper of my own coffee dyed paper with a fussy cut that i put on there as a tab so that sticks out of the pocket like so gorgeous paper from the kit again a bit of lace trim and here a little bit of uh, collaging and this is the last page and it has a corner pocket with three beautiful tags in there that I sewed around, all the way around. That was quite new to me, actually. I had done it before, but not that often. And it went really well, really love. I love this effect. I think that's my favorite, to go around it twice. But it's all pretty. And from this one, I made another little pocket right here with a little tag. And there you go, and that's the bag. So, hope you like this. I absolutely love it. That's for sure. And uh, <laughs> if you like it, just do check out her, the papers and her shop. She has gorgeous kits and they're all beautiful. The one is even prettier than the other. This was my favorite for sure. But there are so many gorgeous, gorgeous kits to check out and other papers and ephemera bits and pieces that you can get in Lorna's Etsy shop, Tailor Made Journals. So do check out her Etsy shop, her YouTube channel, her Facebook page. And I'm sure if you like this, she'll make you very happy. She made me very happy. <laughs> so thanks to Lorna that I could be a guest designer for her this time. And thank you everybody else for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.